How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, this is episode 16 of the Zero Overall Rebuild. If you missed last episode, which is actually a pretty high possibility because the day I uploaded it, YouTube was broken. So basically, it wasn't appearing in searches. It wasn't appearing in uh, sub boxes. And even on my channel, when I looked myself, it wasn't even showing up sometimes as it was uploaded. Like it just wasn't appearing in my video. So there's a chance you missed it. Go back and watch it. Two things we haven't done happened in the series. So you you gotta go, you gotta go watch it. It was an amazing episode. Truman was on the mound, and we did all, everything we could to get him a win. Did we get him the win though? You guys have to go and watch that video. So that's basically my spiel on you you need to go get caught up on the video so go watch it and leave a like let me know that you guys saw that video down in the comment section below but as per always make sure you hit like uh like the video subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content and leave a comment so i don't want to keep rambling about missing last you know episode we're going to talk about today's episode so we're currently 15 and 43 we've already doubled our wins from the previous season so what i did was i'm gonna keep hitting at all-star but i'm gonna up pitching so i upped pitching back to what is it hall of fame yeah i upped pitching back to hall of fame i'm gonna leave hitting at all-star see how it goes if we need to bump it up we definitely will so let's let's see what we're gonna do for today as you guys can see the draft is in three days so we're definitely gonna do the draft we've been scouting we've been making sure you know we see the prospects that we want um there's still a couple out there that i might kind of half scout but for right now i feel like we've done a pretty good job scouting and we should be good going into the draft and then obviously we need to pick a game today um i saw someone comment that the giants would be kind of cool to play in at&t park which it definitely would be so we'll definitely consider that if not we probably will play the phillies just because we haven't played the phillies yet or the mets and they're a divisional opponent so let's focus on the draft and uh yeah let's uh let's see how this draft goes already so obviously we have the first overall pick so uh yeah i i've had a couple players i have my eye on but I, as per usual who knows what's gonna happen Alrighty, we're gonna go with the blue chip prospect here lonnie gray um 19 years old he's a third baseman i know we don't necessarily need a third baseman but just purely based on his hitting stats for projections like he looks this. like he'll be a good little pickup Alrighty, so i'm looking at the pitching currently and it looks like i didn't scout pitching well enough because a lot of the pitchers have 70 overall 80 potential 70 overall 80 potential so it's looking like i really didn't hit the pitching market as well as i thought i did which is a little bit of a disappointing a disappointment because i feel like the pitching is somewhere where we could definitely improve a little bit um so that's kind of a that's a blunder on my part so maybe next season we'll look at some scouts that focus you know that actually have some good pitching uh scouting and then definitely focus on pitching more um philip pena doesn't look bad based on his power stats but i might take a chance on one of these pitchers um tanner Farr doesn't look bad either but we really don't need an outfielder because i'm gonna probably attempt to go after an outfielder during the offseason um so i think we're gonna just take a shot at one of these pitchers and see what happens Alrighty, i normally hate to do this 80 overall 80 potential we're gonna go david baca um he, he's probably gonna be a dud it usually happens that way but we'll see we're gonna go andy thompson here out of new jersey a right-handed Ooh, actually he's only got three pitches i'm gonna avoid him um 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 i don't know who i'm gonna go with now that i didn't realize oh we'll go tj ashley same you know it's another pitcher can't complain there Alrighty, this guy's still kind of lingering around um based on his power stats actually everything else looks really bad i can't just draft somebody just because his power looks good um we'll go billy austin just looks like he'll be a, a mid 70s player um agawa could be decent sammy alvarez looks decent fielding okay overall but not too interesting to me julia stevenson looks okay kind of a fielding decent hitting uh sammy alvarez you know what we have them scouted 
we'll take a shot on him see what happens all right so i didn't realize this guy left um we had him scouted woodrow vorheis he's Vor. he looks really good um hitting stats plate vision power numbers look decent only 75 potential but i wanted to see if he would fall at least one more round and i didn't realize he got picked up in the second round that's kind of disappointing Alrighty, so we kind of do need a backup we'll go uh stefan cabrera i'm not feeling very confident in this draft at all i'm actually feeling very 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 badly about it um so once you guys see that we're only going to have like one player that may end up hitting 80 potential, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, and you guys are going to be like, oh my God, you're such a bad scouter. And I'm going to be like, yeah, after this season, I kind of am. Jesus. All right. He's still here. Philip Pena, based on his power numbers, will take him. Even though I said we probably shouldn't do that. But oh, well. And then we got to remember to look up that Vorhouse guy um, once the... Um, once the draft's over, see if we can see him. Andy Thompson, we said we weren't going to draft, but he's still on the board. We'll take him in the sixth round. What's the worst that can happen besides the fact that he's going to be horrible? You know, oh, well. So let's go see how the first, you know, this this first year player draft went. Already looking at our draft, our first pick, pretty solid. Third baseman, Lonnie Gray. Um, he can't play any other positions, unfortunately. Um so we kind of do have a what's it called a a plethora of third basemen now with sean robles as well as brian taguchi the gooch um but lonnie gray stats pretty you know pretty consistent almost 60 in all his hitting stats um his fielding isn't the best but his arm strength and accuracy is a little bit better he's got 93 potential he's 72 overall whoops he looks it was actually a really good draft pick for the first one outside of that though um we have a couple other decent ones sammy alvarez a shortstop so we have another shortstop he's 73 overall already and he's got um 82 potential his stats fielding wise look solid decent speed decent power numbers he he's not a bad little pickup either so to be honest i was feeling pretty negative about this draft and we have a couple little hidden gems um in there david baca he's 70 overall so he could fit into our starting rotation if we can't go out and get another starting pitcher he hits 78 um potential but for right now that's not a bad little pickup either um tj ashley's got 74 potential in the future i think his beard's a little bit better than anything he'll ever become as a baseball player but we'll sign him up for now um stefan cabrera good contact versus righties but outside of that Ah, nothing too much but you know what we'll just we'll sign him up regardless um 88 overall or potential 88 potential for philip pena um or pina uh you know whatever but good power versus lefties good power versus righties already he's got 88 potential so for a late pick that i was considering not drafting ever he's actually not that bad and then andy thompson i was kind of avoiding him for a reason and it looks like i probably should have in the end his stats aren't that good and he only hit 75 but we'll sign him up anyways alrighty so here he is he's with the red Sox. he's got 83 potential so i mean that's b that ends up being b potential but to be honest his stats don't look too bad already um so i mean it would have been a good little pickup but in the end i think it's okay that we you know we missed out on him for now um we could always trade for him if necessary um i was kind of looking around there aren't too many other players that really stood out to me right now 90 well, actually matthew Quintero for a late round pick um actually not a bad little pickup but outside of that there's just there we actually made a really good pick with lonnie gray 90 i actually looked at this guy i did i did i just wasn't impressed with his current stats so that's why i passed up on him so i feel like we made the right pick in going with lonnie gray for that first that first pick that i mean 93 potential is still not a bad rating at all and he's already 72 overall I think we definitely made the right pick there. Alrighty, so looking at the month, we haven't won yet this month, which is a little disappointing. Um, but we are going to play against San Francisco. I feel like it will be kind of cool to play at AT&T Park. Um, we can go between Almanzar, Cole Stewart, Virgil Tata, and Johander Mendez. We haven't used Johander this year, but I really don't want to face Mad Bum. 
so we're gonna avoid that game we'll go Real Manzar to start this series um, just because we've used Cole Stewart we've used Virgil Tata um, eh, you know what we haven't faced a like a bona fide ace in quite some time actually we play we faced Chris Sale the first our first game of the season I believe right yeah we did we did so maybe or when, whenever we played we we've we I, I i honestly don't remember anymore um but uh yeah let's let's go against mad bum we'll use yohander today all righty so we ended up winning our very first game of the month ray almanzar did the work all right let's see how yohander performs in a game who knows it could go very poorly we're gonna rock i feel like we rock some the grays a lot so let's go I guess we'll just go with our standard road jerseys and let's uh let's do this johander's a 68 geraldo's pretty tired so maybe we have to make a change here taguchi can't play there um you know what we'll, we'll, we'll keep it as it is you guys can see who's hot who's not victor's kind of cold that's not good um but here's the lineup for the Giants. You got Duger or Duggar, Panic Posey, Belt, Trace Thompson, Evan Longoria, Chris Shaw, and Brandon Crawford. Again, not too much power, so we shouldn't be too scared of them, but we'll have to see how it goes. Mad Bum versus Johander. Let's see how it goes. Alrighty, a nice little aerial view of AT&T Park. The Giants are 41 and 33. We're a whopping 16 and 57. I mean, to be honest, it's our best ever season. And I can't, I mean, I'm pretty psyched about that. 16 wins for the year. Definitely pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. So top of the first year, see how it goes. To be honest, hey, that's a great start. Oh my, it hung to, oh man. I was gonna say, I was gonna say to be honest, how can you get any better? A nice little gap shot, but uh, I guess, I guess that's a, that's a line drive out. And Stuart Merrill is going to keep the inning alive with a nice little rip between short and third. That was a nice little, it was, it was a low pitch. Just was a little early on it. Took it left and hey, it's going to be a base knock with 27. So, I mean, he must be doing good when we're not controlling. Um, since we we just can't seem to get a hold of him. And that actually is going to squeeze through. We're going to leave leave it at first and second. We're not going to try to extend it to first and third. And Sean Robles, we got back-to-back -back singles. I definitely was on top of that. There's no way I got good contact on that one. Oh, yeah, I was 100% on top of it. Pedro Salgado, here we go. Alrighty, come on. Give, give me a walk. Come on. Come on, Mad Bum. There it is. A four-pitch walk. Bases loaded. And we have Kevin Page up. He's one for seven on the series. But you know what? I'm feeling I'm feeling confident about this at bat. Makes it three and one. I don't know what's going on with him right now. I, I mean, unless I know it's 100% a strike, I'm not swinging. And it's going to be a fly to center field. It, it was a pit, oh, that was a good pitch to swing at. Man, he got lucky. But right now we're sitting 0-2. Definitely not too bad. And uh, remember, we upped the difficulty for pitching. So, you know, it could be a little, little bit tougher. It should be a little bit tougher for sure. Hits the bottom part of the zone. And we get the K to start the bottom half of the first. And that's going to be a base knock. First pitch swinging. And we got 55 speed at first. You know what? That was definitely a pitch that I missed my spot. 100%. Missing our spots now. Not, not ideal. Not ideal. But we get him with the K. Two strikeouts this inning for Johander. And to be honest, hey, that's a good start. Um, I wasn't. This is kind of like a little tryout. For Mendez here to see if I like him or not. Um, and then we'll see how the rest of the season goes for him. Good sinker inside. We do have Brandon Belt up to the plate. 
a little bit of pop off the bat, but we're, as I say that, he splits splits the short and third gap right there, and you know, I gotta, I just we just need one more out. We can't we can't uh, be messing around anymore with a little bit harder pitching, and we can't be throwing pitches down the middle. We'll go a little bit of a high fastball and missed our spot, but this should be the third out of the inning, and even though they go to a first and second situation we do get out of the inning no problem alrighty we got Victor Jr. up to the plate and oh baby fastball down the middle that is our first no doubt bomb and that is his first major league home run Ooh, ooh baby look at that one good god that was a bomb oh there we go and he doesn't even have the most power and that just that one just looked good off the bat look at that the celebration he knew it 430 feet that's a bomb right there and we're up one to nothing in the game oh he's getting the silent treatment too okay all right all right. All right, that's better. All right, that's how we celebrate a homer right there. It is a one-run ball game, and that is a great way to get this second inning going. So I guess that means back-to-back -back episodes for the Mesa brothers hitting home runs. And ah, that's a line drive out. He caught me with a little bit of an off-speed there. But, hey, look at that bomb. Victor Jr. gets us on the board. The spot. So we're, we're going to have to be careful with where we, th we throw the ball. We got to be careful with our locations here. And uh, that's a gap shot. Luckily, it's 47 speed, but this is to the deepest part of the outfield. So it's looking like a leadoff triple for Evan Longoria. Just as I'm talking about missing spots, what do we go and do? We miss a spot, and what happens? It leads to a leadoff triple. Let's see if we can get out of it with allow without allowing the run. And it's oh, nice snag it's by Stuart Meroth. I thought I was gonna say, and that's not gonna happen. But he does make the play at first. This is probably getting the run in, unless Pedro Salgado can gun him out at home. We're gonna hit the cutoff. He double clutched it, and it's gonna be a run. It's going to be a tie game, and. Ah, man, that's disappointing to give up the lead after going deep with a no-doubter. Stuart Merrill, did you just get a second home run for us? Yes, you did. 387. Oh, what is going on? What What is... Hold on. Are we going to get tested for, like steroids or something after this game because all of a sudden we're hitting bombs and uh oh that's that's three in the last two games we got to calm down we we need to calm down for sure Alrighty, and the ground out ends the inning but Stuart merrill puts us back on top with our second homer of the day all righty back to the top of the lineup center fielder duger dugger however you want to say it is now on first Miss my spot for sure on that one. Ground ball would be very nice right about now. And we're not going to get it. They are going to get back-to-back -back base hits. And is going to be first and second. So this pitching... Um, we up the difficulty for pitching. So this, uh, this is going to make games a little bit more interesting. Alright, that's probably moving him to third. But, uh... I mean, the double play is still in effect. We just got to get a ground ball that doesn't get through. So we don't want to give up the lead here. Lefty-lefty matchup against Brandon Belt. That's not a ball. That is not a ball. We, ah, Man, Trace Thompson's up next. And he goes swinging at it. Come on, let's turn two. That's what we got. Oh, okay, they didn't send him home. So even though we're only going to get the guy at second, we, we do we do save the run okay Trace Thompson is up though 
So, I mean, we still could be in a tricky spot. And the run is going to end up coming coming in to score. Man, just a little inside-out hit leads to a tie ball game. Maverick Moss is going to get a base. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh, man. Once I saw Brandon Crawford launch that throw, I thought, man, Maverick Moss has only got 18 speed. But he still beats it out for a base knock. He was hustling. He definitely was hustling. And it was, uh, it was a little close. But we still get the base knock. All righty. The no doubt specialist, Victor Mesa Jr. Can he go two for two in the day? And it's going to get through. That I mean, we're still going to leave Maverick Moss at second. He doesn't have the speed to go to third. First and second, one out. The pitcher is up, though. So we're it's kind of bittersweet. We do get the hit, but we still do have the pitcher up. 0 for 2, Victor Victor's up. We got we to gotta change that. This has got to be the spot where he gets a base hit. And he will. It's going to be at least, you know, at least a double. Okay, at least a double. So we get the lead back. He gets an RBI double. And that's his 21st. Is that the 21st double? I think that's what the stat would be, that he gets the double. Um, I was kind of hoping it would have kept going all the way to the wall. But uh, it, unfortunately, it didn't. But you know what? Hey, I'm not going to complain. We have our lead back. And we're still threatening to score some more didn't get away from posey enough to send the runner home all righty there's the inning we have our lead back though so that's a good that's a good way to end it all righty one two count high fastball here and he hits it to right center victor victor should be there to make the play there it is two up two down two for two on the day stuart merrill home run single rbi here we go. Add a double, and now he's only a triple away from the cycle. Do we try for the triple here? No, we're gonna we're gonna leave it with a double. We're gonna play smart, and we got a leadoff man on second to start the fifth. I mean, could we get a first cycle of the series too? That that'd be nuts. That would be really nuts. Alrighty, Sean Robles moved the man to third on a ground out. So let's see if Pedro Salgado can get the run home. Um, he, oh, they didn't throw it home. He will get the run home. And we now make it a two-run ball game here in the fifth. I mean, I actually thought maybe Longoria could have made the play home. But I guess they'd rather take the out. Oh, boy. Can we make the play? Guess not. I thought maybe he would have just been able to run up to the wall for that, but I guess I should have made a, a jumping play. Uh, so now we got a guy in second with two outs here. Brandon Belt's up. We need to get this out. I kind of messed up that fielding. I, I thought maybe, just maybe, he would have been able to run up to it. But Kevin Page should be able to get there. Oh, it just goes foul. 0-2 though, two outs, hits it to Stuart Merrill, and that's the inning. Two for two on the day, Victor Jr. Make it three for three. He's on fire today. Victor, Victor, one for three on the day. Is that going to be another one that hangs? No, it's not. That, that, one's, that one's trouble. That one's trouble. That one's a triple. 86 speed. Come on. Round the bases. Get to third. Get there. There we go. Another run scores. And it is a three-run ball game now here in the sixth. That's, oh, yeah. There we go. That is what I'm talking about. We're swinging the bats. We're doing damage. And, oh, man, this offense is rolling. So Mad Bum's day is over. They're bringing in the lefty Tony Watson. 6-2-1 ERA. Now, 
Villanueva is going to like bloop. Oh, he's actually going to bloop it into left field. And it's going to get another run in. It is now a four run game. And the rookie gets a ribby. All right, so Trace Thompson singled. I wasn't too sure who that was, so I wasn't really talking. I thought maybe they brought in a pinch hitter or something. So I wasn't I wasn't 100% sure who that was. But Trace Thompson took the first pitch of the inning for a single. But we got 0-2 to Longoria. Just missed with the slider. Johander Mendez is kind of in a, a tricky spot stamina-wise, but he still gets the strikeout. And that's one out for the inning. Yeah, we probably shouldn't be using Johander too much longer. I kind of want to get him through this inning since we started it with him. Um, and we ended up batting with him last inning. So let's see if we can do it. We're getting kind of greedy with it. So we got to be careful. And actually, it, it should work out perfectly fine because there's the double play to end it. Heading into the seventh four-run game. Can't complain. Make it one for four for Kevin Page with a two-out single in the left field. That's going to be the inning, though. Ground out by Maverick Moss. No runs here in the seventh, but we're still in a good spot. All righty, with the string of lefties coming up, we're going to bring in Darby Jarvis. See if he can uh, do his job here. Come on, Villanueva. Show off your arm. Is it enough? It is. One up, one down. All right, they did bring in a, a pinch hitter for the pitcher. Not too sure who it was, but uh, shouldn't be a problem for Darby. And it, it, and it proves not to be there's a ground out. A 1-2-3 inning for... Oh, he beats it out. Hmm, he beat it out. Okay, he beat it out. I talked too soon. And now we're in a little bit of trouble. Might be, might be it for uh, Senor Darvi. Might be it here. We're gonna bring in Christopher Robles, just so that no like crazy damage is gonna be done. Buster Posey's up. Good spot for the fastball there to start the at bat. Oh, man. So, 2-2 two -two count. See if this changeup can get us out of the inning. And it should. Victor Victor's there. Victor, no. Victor Jr.'s there. Victor Mesa Jr.'s there. And that's the inning. Hunter Strickland's coming in. Okay. And a single. So, unfortunately, he won't come up again, most likely. To see if he can round, you know, get his triple or get his homer to get the cycle. But hey, not a bad day for him either. And even a stolen base for Victor Victor Mesa. Might as well put try to get him in scoring position. And we do on a one the first pitch ball. Let's see if Villanueva can bring him in. And he won't. He'll ground out to first. All right, we're going to bring in Dave Julio. See if he can uh, get us one or two innings to end the game. But a, uh, a four-pitch walk, not the best start. Not the best start at all. And now we're looking like what? Second and third? First and third? Ooh, not a good start here in the eighth. And this could be a double play. We got to turn it quick. He's going to beat it out. That's just, it wasn't a quick enough turn. It was a slowly hit ground ball. A run does come in to score, but um, that's okay. That's all right. And Victor Jr. should make the play in left. He does. Only one run comes in to score, so I can't complain about that. We do still have a three-run lead heading into the last inning of the game. And look who it is. Can Stuart Merrill get his triple and get a cycle. He might. He actually might do it. This is... Please don't catch that. No! Oh, if that was more of a line drive. If that was more of a line drive. We were just under it. 
a little too much, he would have had a triple. Sean Robles, oh, just under that one, too. We have a two quick out inning so far. Okay, maybe not. Maybe we do need to bring in the closer because now we do have a man on second with only one out. All right, so we're bringing in Yimmy Garcia. Five saves on the year. Please get the graphic out of here. Good start. Nice little fastball down in the zone. So, man on second. One out. Two strikes. There we go. Here we go. Three-run ball game. And just barely fouls that off. Joe Panic, I need you to get out here. It would put me at a lot more ease. That is a strike. Ump, please stop doing that to me. That should be the second out. We just need Yimmy Garcia to step on first. We're going to throw it home so we get no cheese going on in the game. Two outs here with Buster Posey up. He has a double on the day, but that is it. Just fouls that one. So 6-3 game. We got two outs here, and that should do it. Maverick Moss is there, tosses it over to first, and that is is the ball game so man what a game you know solid solid performances by a lot of the players victor victor mesa three for five with a triple double single two ribbies and a, a run stuart merrill comes so close to a cycle a home run a double a single a rib you know one run one run batted in two runs victor mesa jr hits a no doubt bomb um, a whole, and had a ribby for himself with uh, two singles added to it. And then Johander Mendez gets his third win of the season. Six innings pitched, eight hits, but only two earned runs. A very solid game. Um, and Yimmy Garcia picks up his sixth save. So, hey, man, this was a pretty solid game for us. Everybody contributing, everybody doing their job. We hit two home runs this game. That was awesome. So I think that deserves a like in itself. I just picked up a diamond for Diamond Dynasty. Okay, that's the first time that's ever happened. So let's see how the rest of the month goes. See if we can pick up at least one more win. And we do against the Reds with a 1-0 victory. And that's how the month's going to end. 18-66 and 66 on the year. Um, we'll see if anybody's even getting any all-star votes in the next episode. And, uh... Yeah, guys, I mean, an awesome pick in Lonnie Gray. I think he's, you know, he's not as amazing um, as some, you know, like I don't think he has as many stats as Geraldo Villanueva, but he doesn't look too bad. Um, David Baca might play for us next season. Sammy Alvarez is a definite player who could be used next year. So we made a couple decent picks in the draft, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We hit two home runs. It's awesome. This team is just doing so well. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hit that like button if you did. And again, if you missed yesterday's episode or a couple days episode, um, the last episode, go and watch that one. It was that was a very, very good game. Um, I kind of kind of spoils it since Truman's on the screen right now. But, you know, um, hit the like button, subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.